gun girl. No one takes this girl serious. I don't know how she goes out in public safely. If you've been on the internet for more than a few years, you've probably heard the name Logan Paul before. And probably not for good reasons. Logan is a YouTuber with 20 million subscribers and the IQ of a goldfish. And I hate... <coughs> Caitlin Bennett is a goldfish. Think about it for a minute. Caitlin Bennett's videos are full of very many inaccuracies. And this video she's making is because Logan Paul said she was dumb. She was a terrible person, which she is. Now, this isn't the first time she's tried to do a video or even a short take on somebody because she was mad they did a video on her. I mean, go through Twitter on, and look at her Twitter. And basically, Caitlin Bennett gets mad at Hunter Avalon and pulls up old footage and clips from back when he he was very pro-right because Hunter Avalon actually started changing how he acted. And he was like, you know what? I should be nicer to LGBT people. And that's what he started doing. And I like how she's pulling up these clips when Hunter Avalon finally does a video on her. It is apparently because she was upset that somebody had a different opinion or thinks differently from her. And in this case, Logan Paul is like, yo, she's atrocious, which is very funny, not because of what Logan Paul has done, but because Caitlyn Bennett has done so many atrocious things and she has a lower IQ than Logan Paul because she'll go to a college campus and, and just be just wrong and get sh shitted all over on by everyone. What the fuck is going on Hell, am I outside of where I am? to inform everybody that after meeting him, I've come to realize that he has all the bad things that the internet has said about him. And he has no balls. That's scary. That's scary. That's, no, that's safe. A year ago, I was invited out to LA to go on Logan Paul's YouTube podcast, Impulsive. This was a rather strange invite because Logan Paul is not a political content creator, but because I was constantly going viral on social media, Logan and his team wanted to use my name to get clicks for their podcast. And by the way, before we get into this juicy story, if you want to support my work, please go to patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. If you sign up, you can receive super cool perks such as an autographed photo and even have your name in the description of every YouTube video. And while you're here, hit that notification bell so you'll get a reminder every time we get out a new video. Now, for those of you who don't know much about Logan Paul, he grew up here in Ohio, just like I did, and is well known around the area. Him and his brother, Jake Paul, became popular online after becoming famous on Vine and subsequently making YouTube channels. I have friends who went to high school with the two of them that tried to talk me out of going on his show because I said Logan is not a good person. But... I went on anyway because I didn't want to judge a person by what others say. Since I had that same... What Caitlin's talking about is the fact she doesn't know that Logan Paul's not that much of a dick. He's an idiot. Yes, he's done really dumb shit. But who hasn't on any YouTube platform or any internet space ever? I mean, PewDiePie has said the N-word. Um, people have people think he's a Nazi, but he's... N I don't think he's a bad guy. He's just so dumb sometimes that... You get, you just go, oh my god, this man is so dumb, where you get angry, and that's the same with Logan Paul. He's just very fucking dumb, and does not think, because that, that's just him. But Haylin Bennett is the type of person to say shit, and make it look like she's winning the argument. That she says stuff that sounds smart, but if you were to actually look it up, you'd be like, oh, this bitch is dumb. Like, very dumb. Like, she's a fucking donut. <laughs> she, she, she's a fucking, she's not even a good donut, she's a plain donut. Because even Logan Paul is like, yo, Chief, you literally could go and murder an entire school. Like, like, Caitlyn Bennett. I don't... She's like the equivalent of making everybody look bad. Because even even people who are on her, on her side don't like her. I, I think the fact that she thinks people, you know, if people... She'll, she'll, she'll align herself with people just because they might have the same political views and immediately turn her back and stab at them because they don't agree with you politically. Basically... She's more into politics than any actual human being should. Like, you know how people always say Trump is bad? I, I think Caitlyn Bennett is slightly worse because I don't think Trump would have the balls to do what she talks about. Like, yeah, people meme on the president, but this girl needs to be memed on so fucking hard that, like, people wouldn't even know how to feel. Like, she needs to get memed on so hard. Like, I, like there's nothing funny about her other than she shit her pants. That's it. Like, yeah. 
if you're gonna make fun of somebody, at least have something to be uh, relatably funny, or at least something that's stupid enough to make me laugh. So this is a, a person who's stupid enough to make me not laugh, because they willfully choose to be ignorant. And this entire video is her being a whiny baby because Logan Paul said she ain't a good person, which she's not. Hell, I'm about to show you this clip right now where she actually does something so fucking disgusting. And I don't worry, I'm gonna link the clip where this is from because this person actually does a really good video on her. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Do you know what the number one cause of death in the United States is? It's abortion. Oh, actually, I... It's abortion. Shay, you have a right to one. <laughs> abortion is murder. I'll abort you after. You'll abor abort me after term? Yes, like late term abortion. You. Okay, I just want to start off with saying that that father is my king. Okay, like, God bless you. Do you hear what he said? He looked at his daughter and was like, yeah, and you have a right to one. What a king to a little queen who's going to grow up and be amazing. Love that. <laughs> and he told her, like, he was going to late term abort her. <laughs> I mean, late term abortion? Caitlin Bennett? <laughs> I'm kidding guys. Oh my god. Don't come at me that I'm violent and a murderer and shit Honestly recently I was downtown in my city and there was someone with a sign that said abort Doug Ford And if you don't know who Doug Ford is basically Doug Ford is like a mini Trump in Canada And so <laughs> it was a sign that said abort Doug Ford <laughs> It made me laugh so hard. Anyways back to this. Let's unpack what she said here because I'm very very bothered by all of this, okay? First off, involving a child in your political YouTube channel is so inappropriate, I can't even begin to like, in, in no realm, in anywhere is that appropriate. Like who? I had that same thing happen to me all of the time. I think there's a lot of lies out there about you or misconceptions about you. And there's a lot of that about me, too. So when people were like, don't go out there, he's X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, you do realize that people view me like that, too. So I went on thinking it would be like all of their other podcasts. They bring guests on to have fun with them, ask them about their lives, and play some of their videos. But I got a totally different treatment. And I'm not sure if it was because his co-host wanted to bring me out there to berate me for my views, or if Logan was just too hungover to take command of his own show. What happened last night? Nonetheless, that's what the show turned into, and from the beginning to end, it was the Mike Majlack show, as Logan's babysitter took the opportunity to get mad at me for an hour and a half because I support the Second Amendment. Do you currently own an AR-10 or a long barrel uh, semi-automatic weapon? Yes. Okay. Why do you... Why do you feel the need to own that level of <coughs> firepower? <clears throat> because I want to. But it's your a property. A automatic weapon that was re revised mm, bump stock. That's not an automatic okay. weapon. Well, it's not an automatic. Sorry, here we, I'm. I'm trying. What is a bump That's, stock? It is a a piece of call it technology, call it Plastic. mechanical device that is used to turn a semi-automatic weapon. No, it's not. No. Okay. Bump stock no. is a modification a that modification. you put on. It doesn't turn the firearm into anything. Oh, it's and you can it do you, it. It gives you the ability to to fire the weapon faster. To bump fire, fine, but you fine. can do that with right, a rubber right, right. band. You can right. do that with a finger. You can do that with a belt loop. Are we gonna ban all those? They thought they could bring me on and own me on the subject I'm most knowledgeable about, but. I'm <clears throat> bump stocks or bump fire stocks are gun stocks that can be. A, Used in a system bump fire. Bump fire is the accurate is the act of using the recoil of a semi-automatic rifle fuck firearm for ammunition cartridges in rapid succession, but with a loss of accuracy. So basically, Caitlin Bennett has a bump stop, meaning her gun is no longer a gun where she fires, you know, a bullet a one at one shot at a time. She can now I think you have to hold it. I haven't used a gun in because I've been dragged to a shooting range. I've been dragged to a shooting range before. I know a little bit about guns. I, I can tell you, I don't care. I'm pretty neutral if you have guns or not. As long as you're not being a dick who points guns at people, then you're probably not that bad. But my take is, why do you have a bump stock? Because 
I think a lot of people say this, a bump stock makes it even easier to kill someone because now you can shoot bullets in rapid succession. At that point, Caitlin Bennett has a strong machine gun. And the difference between a pistol and a shotgun is the actual amount of use for one of those. So let me explain. Because I haven't, I haven't used guns in a while, but I think I still remember this. If I were to shoot you from up close with a pistol, you would probably live if I shot you at close the way some guns work is kind of can be summed up like this. If I shoot you at point blank range with a pistol and it's not anywhere that would kill you instantly, like the heart or the brain, you are more likely to live. Some people can take a shot to the brain at point blank range with a pistol, but that's rare, very rare because a pistol is a piercing, is, the rounds are piercing. Yes, but if up close, they don't have enough, you know, Project, project fuck that's such a weird word trajectory you know air speed and all that you know going through the air and all that stuff you know because pistol bullets are made for shooting from far away where if i were to use something like a shotgun and shoot you up close you would die like does it matter if i were to shoot you from really far away with a shotgun the bullet would hurt like hell but you wouldn't die you would probably be in so much pain that you would want to die but this gun Caitlyn is talking about is a gun where you can shoot from either range. And you'll still kill a lot of people. But in this case, she makes it even worse because now you can shoot multiple bullets. That's not shooting one or two bullets. That's just like, that's just a machine gun, but actually deadly at that point. And I'm a person who's pretty okay with guns. <laughs> Basically, Caitlin Bennett has a gun where she can shoot multiple people and it's not as weak as a handgun from up close and it's not bad like a shotgun from far away. You have the gun that's the perfect combination of, I can still kill you from any range. That's basically what she's done. And she can put multiple holes through her target. It's just the accuracy is slightly off. That's it. But a skilled gun, a skilled gun person can fucking kill people, even with a little bit of loss in accuracy from the gun. But like, what? What do, you, what do you mean, you fucking donut? Fortunately for them, everyone who watched the podcast thought it was embarrassing for them that a five foot four girl was standing up to three wimpy men afraid of guns. That's scary. That's scary. That's, no, that's safe. That's but that's your opinion. Why do you need a, a magazine that holds more than five rounds? So what if ten people are coming in your house to rob you? I was gonna say. I mean, but those are times when people were fighting with muskets. Right. Times have changed. In fact, when I threw statistics at them, they thought they could own me by trying to fact check me, only to admit that my statistics were right. They have a 95 percent fail rate. They don't do their job 95 percent of the time. They're always stealing stuff. Where's that uh, data from? <clears throat> because that, would, that seems like it would equal out to be a lot of problems on the aircraft uh, if 95 percent of the, their job was a failure. Just fact check the Department of Homeland Security did did indeed do a private uh, screening to find out that 95% of uh, things are missed by the TSA. Clearly, Logan Paul's podcast with me did not go how they planned, and they weren't expecting me to make them look like the fools. Mike really should have done more homework on me before trying to debate me, because his feelings are no match for good old facts. We have more than 20,000 gun laws on the book. They're... It's call, calling something that's ineffective in its execution useless is is, is well, wouldn't that futile. be the definition of useless if if we can't execute something? It's not that we can't. We just haven't done a good enough job of so it. So what do we do? We need to do a better job of it. Now, if you think I'm kidding when I called Mike Logan's babysitter, I'm not. Mike Najlak was literally hired by Logan Paul to be his personal babysitter to make sure that Logan doesn't get into any more trouble after his reputation took a big hit for filming a dead body in Japan in 2017. Mike is a 35-year-old man who acts like a teenage boy and lives vicariously through Logan Paul's fame. Logan lets Mike live in his house and literally gets him porn stars for his birthday. It is my friend, Hey Big Mike's 34th birthday. I'm gonna be honest. Caitlin, get to the fucking point. Because, yes, there are some 95% of things TSA do miss, but they never said what year. And... 
If we're talking about the TSA today, probably 95%. But ignoring that, why are you trying to make Logan Paul look like a villain specifically? No, she's she's rollering, roller coastering around the argument because she knows that after a certain point, her video that she's starring in is either A, she edited out some scenes where she was wrong or right because she does do that. Or B, <clears throat> Say it with me now. She is trying to avoid the fact that she doesn't really have much of an argument other than, hey, look at this first few minutes where they were like, I feel really uncomfortable about a gun that has basically become a machine gun. Because, yes, I feel like a gun where I shoot one bullet at a time versus a gun where I can shoot multiple bullets, one of these is more dangerous than the other. And if I were, let, let's say this, you have a shotgun. Now, imagine a shotgun that could do multiple shots without having to reload because most shotguns is maybe f base base opinion base baseline opinion opinionated garbage fact right here i think it's five bullets and depending on what shotgun you have it's two because i know some use two some use at least five or four so basically imagine they could shoot really powerful shots at you multiple times because Imagine a gun that could rip you in half, but it can shoot more than two shots or four, and it can shoot like all of them quickly. That would be probably terrifying, and I don't think any of the power is lost in the gun Caitlyn is using because unlike the shotgun, it's not going. It doesn't, you know, get weaker from farther away, and it doesn't be get weaker if you're up close. So, I think the fact that she's trying to roller coaster around the fact that. Or ignore the fact that, you know, throughout the video, she's trying to go, man, look at Logan Paul. Remember what he did when he was still 19 or some shit? Look at how dumb he is. And Logan Paul is trying to redeem his reputation. He has somebody watching him, making sure he doesn't do dumb shit anymore. Because the last time he did dumb shit, his friends got away from doing that dumb shit too. And all he had to do was also get yelled he, all he did was get yelled at by everybody and everyone forgot his little friends who are little fuck toys at this point just kind of left they got on they got away with actually messing with dead body letting logan do this and yet not not all of them were punished just just logan like she's trying to throw in the fact that logan is like you know what this guy's been keeping me out of trouble i'm gonna help this guy out because he's been so nice to me you know he's been looking out for me and all this shit you know, and I feel like if somebody actually is out is willing to help a guy who's done the worst stuff on the planet, that's how you know that guy isn't bad. He wants to, you know, help this guy. You know, this guy fucked up, but I'd like to believe this guy ain't that bad. That's how you know. Fuck, I forgot that guy's name. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Mike, I think that was his name. Was it, whoever, fuck, whoever his name is, he was a good guy enough to take pity or at least say, you know, like, Logan Paul fucked up. But I think I can keep him out of trouble from fucking up again because at least he acknowledges, yeah, he fucked up and he should be having people help him not fuck up again. But Caitlyn Bennett is so full of shit because she's trying to go, man, look at all the bad Logan Paul has done. Therefore, you can't trust any of the words he says or this person who's keeping an eye on him because he doesn't want to fuck up because even he's like, okay, I fucked up bad. Like... Kate Caitlin Bennett, can you get to the point if you're gonna tell me everything I already know? Because I don't fucking care. I already know what Logan Paul's done, and he's trying to improve himself, and he's bettering himself. So why are you complaining, you fucking dumbass? Honest, it's actually his 35th. I did some thinking, and there is one thing that Mike loves more than anything. Porn stars. Porn stars. Porn stars. That's my friend Lana. I know shit! <laughs> this is the best gift. My mom never got me anything like this. So. This hypocrite who spent an hour and a half yelling at me for supporting my right to own an AR-15, then went to Virginia with Logan Paul to shoot fully automatic M16 rifles. This gun is probably 300 pounds. Just a lot of extra added weight to my body. That is going to make this extremely extremely difficult why do you feel the need to use that kind of firepower mike did you pass a background check before shooting that why do you feel the need to own that level of <clears throat> firepower these are the types of people logan and mike are they live degenerate lives and will do absolutely anything to get clicks on the internet which is exactly why logan paul wound up filming a dead body in a forest i wanted to 
You're still roller coastering, bitch. Uh, I know that sounds mean, but I feel like the fact that you keep bringing up the dead body over all of the stuff is very genuinely the worst thing about her because she's not even trying to have an argument. She's like, look at all the baddies done. And you know, and the difference between her and Logan Paul is Logan Paul does shit for clicks half the time. Yes. So him and his friends going out and using guns, they're doing it for clicks. They're holding up pictures and they're probably, yeah, they probably are doing the same, you know, guns and all that shit, but they're not going around keeping all of those guns and stuff to, you know, go around and shoot and do all that shit. They do it for clicks, but you're not doing it for clicks. Unless you are, then that makes you a bigger hypocrite because you're doing the same shit he's doing. You just haven't done the bad thing. I'm pretty sure you would. So my take is, sure, Logan Paul does shit for clicks. My what the fucker, he does a lot of shit for clicks. The man faked his own death for clicks. So my take is, bitch, you're a fucking liar. Because I feel like you owning something, like, guys, if I pay somebody money to do a thing, and then I'm not going to keep the stuff, you know, I'm going to return it back. Like, oh, I'm going to do something cool for a video or some shit. Like, fine. That's fine. She never brings up whether he owns those guns or not. If he owns those guns, then he's full of shit. But you're still full of shit. But if he doesn't own those guns, and he only used them for the video, then, you know, he's a little bit of a jackass on his part for bringing, for talking about guns and how dangerous they can be a little bit because yeah because you're doing you had you had those in your arms for a video but let me finish this was this before or after the podcast that you did because you're a little shit person when it comes to that because you don't really leave dates because that video could have happened months ago that could have happened after the podcast they wanted you know do a thing because of how you were talking about guns. Logan Paul ain't dumb most of the time. He's stupid. But he knows how to get clicks. Unlike you who knows how to get people angry. I give Logan the benefit of the doubt. But clearly he hasn't changed since his mishap a few years ago. And his personality is as trashy as his classmates say it is. After I started going viral again last month. Because people on Twitter started snipping up clips from my YouTube videos. Logan and Mike used the opportunity to try to use my name for clicks once again. Caitlin f Bennett, the gun girl. They brought me on their show when I was going viral and waited a whole year for me to go viral once again to this time trash me and delete my podcast with them. I'm actually going to remove the Caitlin Bennett video right now. She's the first guest that I'll say, like, I'm ashamed that I had her on the show. And for that reason, I'm deleting the episode with Caitlin Bennett, the gun girl. I'm apparently the worst guest they've ever brought on their show. Meanwhile, they've brought on porn stars. Oh. Uh -huh. Drug addicts. And even people accused of rape. If Logan is going to believe every bad thing... <laughs> Hot take? All the fucking things Caitlin Bennett does are all on video. Because she has them on YouTube. The fucking Ace Family drama and all that other stuff that she talks about with porn stars and all that. I don't care if you like porn stars or not. Look, porn stars are fine. They're sex workers, basically. They, they do have sex. They do a little job. All this. They wear... Most people wear protection. Ba basically, you... I'm not gonna say what I what I what I know about the sex industry because I've done videos and you should watch those. Basically, I'll sum it up like this: You're not gonna eat anything that's white in a very long time. <laughs> but ignoring all the stuff that she brings up, all her stuff is caught on video. All the Ace Family drama, I don't know about the rape thing, or uh, the the drug addicts. Fine, there are a lot of people who are no longer drug addicts, or maybe they are drug addicts still, but they aren't doing anything. They're people who have a drug addiction. That's a problem for them as long as they aren't hurting or killing anybody is they have a drug problem. What, you're going to shame sex workers? Like, I don't give a shit if somebody fucks and makes porn or whatever. People get paid for that. It's considered a job. Some people don't get jobs. Some people can't afford to get a job. Some people do sex work. Some people like it. And you shouldn't shame others for that shit. Sit in the fucking corner, Caitlin. But other than the Ace, other than the Ace Family thing... Caitlyn Bennett has so many things where she basically has it all on video for people to... What the fuck? I can hear people coughing. Yeah, there's somebody, somebody coughing in the other room. Uh, ignoring that. 
uh, Caitlyn Bennett ignores the fact that she has all her videos with actual proof where she is in the fucking wrong, just out there for everyone, everyone. Uh, basically, Caitlyn has video proof that she fucked up, and she's mad because everyone else doesn't have proof they're fucking terrible. Like, that's pretty sad. When you can say, when I can say this, Caitlyn Bennett is worse than somebody accused of rape because they, you, they have, people actually have proof of her being garbage. Where everyone else is just like, I don't know. That's, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. Very sad. About me, then he should 100% believe accusations like that and probably delete their podcast, right? Logan should also probably delete his podcast with Alex Jones since I'm the one that set up the interview, which means he should delete his interview with Ben Shapiro since he only brought him on after seeing how many views his shows got with me and Alex. And like everybody else, Logan and Mike go on to lie about me to his millions of subscribers over things that can very easily be debunked. The reason she's viral right now is she just went to the gay pride parade to ask leading questions to cause a f scene. No, I didn't. I went nine months ago. No, she did go to the gay pride parade. And then even, even if it was nine months ago, you still went there and harassed people. She called someone a fat fuck. And then the first thing she did is when they got angry, it said, I'm carrying a fucking gun. And later on, during the Pride Parade, she, somebody said, you're lucky people have cameras. And she's like, is that a threat? Bitch, you said you were going to pull out a gun on a bitch for harassing her, immediately harassing her. And you're like, oh, you're upset because I harassed you verbally? I'm going to pull out a gun. Somebody said, you're lucky you brought a camera. And now you're, you're so surprised people are upset with you being garbage. The actual police officer showed up and told her to leave or she would be arrested. And she acted like a whipped fucking bitch baby because a police officer said, I will arrest you for harassing people. And she's been getting multiple complaints during that entire fucking video. You can even find the clips on Twitter because she's fucking garbage as a human being. That's how sad it is. The fact that I can pull up multiple clips right now is really sad. I don't even need to pull them up. Literally, go find them. It's not that hard. Hell, look up Caitlyn Bennett. Hell, look up any video where anyone does a video on her. And they will pull up clips. So many clips where she's just a fucking scummy person. Like, oh my fucking God. This girl's out here trying to deny the fact that she's fucking human garbage. Like, what do you mean? You threatened to kill somebody with a gun, basically. Because you harassed them and said they are fat fuck. No, you don't get away with that shit. Of course, and then you get immediately upset because someone else said you're lucky you brought cameras because they threatened you. Like, you threatened somebody with a worse way of a threat. If someone punched you in the face, that's that's fine. You can punch them back, but when nobody's gonna pull out a fucking gun during Pride Parade, that's a dick move. I'm just still laughing at the fact that she squealed like a fucking little baby in fear as soon as the police officer said, yo, stop harassing people. What the fuck? That's still the funniest thing out of all those clips that you can find. You just saw it now on Twitter. You may have seen this on Twitter. She had an interaction with a cop at the at the Pride Parade. So this is like a two minute interaction mm -hmm. of her just, just poking the cop. Nope, it's 18 minutes. You just saw two minutes because that's what people clipped up. By the way, kudos to this cop. He crushed. He's a, he's a fucking You should hero. go watch this he's entire a, scene. It's actually about five minutes long. This is a two-minute clip of it. I watched the entire scene last night. You guys aren't even good at trying to be dishonest. Again, 18 minutes long. But you're right, Mike. When they say two minutes or five minutes, <clears throat> let me say it right now. They're talking about your interaction with the police officer. They know how long the video is. They're talking about the interaction with the police officer around two to five minutes. And it's true. I looked at the clip and it is it's around two to five minutes of you harassing people. Then the police officer shows them like, yo, what the fuck? Stop doing that. Like, that's not even me fucking joking. Looking at two to five minutes of you harassing people and the police officer for two or five minutes going, yo, you need to stop. I'm going to arrest you for harassing people and getting multiple complaints. There's getting up the there, there's a difference between the police coming to you and the police coming to you because somebody says you're harassing them when you're not. And if you actually do watch her video, she harasses people a lot during that entire parade. Like that's not even a fucking joke. Like 
how how are you gonna try? Yes, I don't know if they were they were jo- they were talking about the whole video, or they were talking about you know the whole clip around the whole clip at the, is like two minutes that you only need to watch, or they're talking about five minutes, but you only need to watch the first two because the rest is hard just whining. But other than that, she's full of shit. Should go watch the entire video. Look it up on our channel. It's called Pride Gets Peaceful. I got shoved and mobbed for simply existing. lied about me needing a press pass, lied about me antagonizing people, and lied about needing to take my camera as evidence if I wanted to file a report. You don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. If you don't have a press pass, I would prefer you to stop doing this. But I don't have to. I didn't say you had to. I would ask you, I prefer you. You don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. You understand that you're disturbing people, correct? I'm not disturbing you anybody. Are, I, let I tell me, you let, no, let me tell you something. This. If we have any more complaints about your behavior tonight... You're going to end up being in trouble. Thank I you. am a victim of disorderly conduct. What's that? We have, I have video been... for being assaulted. Okay. Would they... you like me to make a report about you being assaulted? Should I? Does Michael have the footage on there? I don't know if he has the I'm not going to look at any footage. I will send it to a detective, so I'll have to take the camera and put I it do... on property. This happens to me enough to know. And actually... Basically, throughout the entire video, Caitlin Bennett is harassing people. The police officer showed up. He, he did bring up press pass. He was just trying to get her to leave because, yes... All those people shoving her is because she was shoving them. Basically, Caitlyn Bennett is just an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. Like, I understand, you know, being an asshole sometimes. You know, if somebody is a dick to me, I'll be a dick to you back. But there's being an asshole without warranting anything. And there's an asshole when you have warranty. <laughs> like, that's, that's so dumb. Don't be an asshole if no one's being an asshole to you. That, that two, two rights, two, one wrong doesn't make a right it leads to another wrong and in this case a wrong to a person who's doing wrong because nobody liked her action she shoved somebody and everyone shoved her back guys that an unborn baby is a raped. human i was raped darling raped against my f-ing will that has nothing to do with the argument are you kidding me no i'm not you kidding you held down by your f-ing pigtails and raped and then said that you have to have the f-ing baby no you get pregnant get by a rapist me. you get pregnant by a rapist get the f- out of my mouth then you you approached me darling you ain't that cute you, you approached you me ain't that smart you came here to argue with people and you don't know okay. obviously i don't think that a baby conceived in rape who is innocent it wasn't a baby it what wasn't was a it? baby it was a molecule it wasn't a baby it was a baby the thing that came out of me 10 years later was my baby that was not a baby What's the difference? and that man is still walking around blood in the same grocery store hey. can we sign a petition to kick her out of this country a press pass that's been our this policy is public property the, their policy is that you have to have a press pass so if you don't have a press pass they're going to ask you to stop doing that because there's all kinds of press in here that have been credentialed to go do there. Can I have you guys step away for me so I can do my business? I just want to do my business. You're not helping me right now. Thanks. So, number one, the organizer asked you to have a press pass. If you don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. So it's, their, it's their place. I'm not asking you to leave. But I am asking you that if you don't have a press pass, I would prefer you to stop doing this. But I don't have to. I didn't say you had to. I would ask you I prefer you because right now you understand that you're disturbing people, correct? I'm not disturbing you anybody. Are, you need to just go away. No, business. absolutely not. Can I, I tell you let, something no, let that's me tell happening you about something. disturbing? Let but me you tell haven't you been watching now. what's happening. Let me tell you something right now. The reason that you and I are speaking right now is because they came and got me from all the way down three streets over because people are complaining about your behavior in here. Stop. And so if someone's complaining about your behavior in here, I have every right now to talk to you about it. Do you understand that? Yes. Sir. Okay. So here's the problem. If we have any more complaints about your behavior tonight, you're going to end up being in trouble. Regardless of filming, if you bother people, that's disorderly conduct. Can I yeah, say listen something, Listen to me. Though? When I'm done, you can speak. Okay. Action will be taken. I am a victim of disorderly conduct. What's that? We have I have video been... for being assaulted. Okay. Would they... you like me to make a report about you being assaulted? Should I? Does Michael have the footage on there? I don't know if he has the I'm not going to look at any footage. I'll send it to a detective, so I'll have to take the camera and put I it do... on property tonight. So, so someone can just complain about me? Yes, and then. Do. I believe what you're doing here right now is this would be great film for you, right? Arguing with the cop. Oh, my God, you got no, him. This that's is what this is all about. My audience loves cops. That wouldn't make sense. Then let's move on with our night so I can go protect somebody that might actually need to be protected. Wait, you understand people go to jail all the time.
crime based on accusations, and then it's up I to. Do, and I want to protect then, myself. Yes, good point. I want to protect then myself. Then I will leave everybody alone because I clearly don't like I am you. Talking and, and you're free to do whatever you like. But I will have consequences if I go in there and, and, and the engage in free speech. The thing about being an adult in the world is every choice has consequences. Whether you're in here, whether you're out there, whether you're driving a car, whether you go to work, whether you're at the grocery store, all kinds of life choices end up with consequences. I'm not the one to determine that. You are free to do whatever you would like to do. All I'm asking. You, young lady, someone, are free to do whatever you would like to do. But you're choosing sides, so I I'm will not get in trouble. Any, for I'm not it. choosing any sides. Are you in handcuffs? Have I written down your name? No. Have I taken any of your information? No, have I told you? Have I told you? Have I told you to leave? You said that. Have next I told someone? Have I told you to leave? You said I will be asked. I'm trying to figure out. It appears you wasted so much time with me that you're missing all the fun interviews. I got a lot of footage. Then I would go continue your evening. You are free to be on your way. You're being so disrespectful to me, and I've been nothing but supportive of you. You are free to be. This happens to me enough to know and actually happened again the next day in the same state. All the cops ever need as evidence is to see the footage, not take the camera. All right, the uh, suspect's got a blue jacket, a black backpack on, and got a white printed shirt. So yeah, kudos to this cop for crushing the First Amendment. Why is Caitlin Bennett, gun girl, at the Pride Parade? Why is she you, well, we know why. We know why she's there to poke people and to get a reaction. Actually, I was there to ask people if they support Donald Trump's initiative to decriminalize being gay all over the world and had a good conversation with a lot of people. Most of these events act super inflammatory so she can capture some reactions and then say, ha ha ha, lived hard wrecked. She's almost like a parody of her own style. Caitlin habitually does something inflammatory and then acts like the people getting upset are the problem. In one of her videos, she walked around a college campus dressed as an Indian. Now, I, of all people, enjoy a good troll. And this is kind of funny as far as joking about cultural appropriation goes, but when someone gets upset, Caitlin repeatedly treats them like they're an idiot for coming up to her. You were so bothered by my costume that you turned around to come over, come over here and, I don't know, confront me about it. I didn't necessarily ask to get on camera. And so well, you approached me, and so, like, okay. you, you have consented. I just want to know, why is it so bothersome to you that you spent your energy to come back over and talk to me about my costume? Just like it was To, to turn around and come over and, and say something about my outfit, because it bothered you that much. Caitlin, you went to a campus to bother people. Stop pearl clutching over the fact that they're giving you the reaction you're looking for. It makes you look slimy and pathetic. This isn't the only time she's done things like this either. In another clip, she walks around seeking out people's opinions on gun control, then insults them rather than arguing with them. Do you love guns? Do I love guns? No. Why not? You don't like self-defense? No, I like people. People have more of a reason to defend themselves with guns if they live in a society that is riddled with guns. They, have, they have a reason that it's their God-given right. That's the only reason they need. But your argument, and I guess your opinions, haven't mattered since 1776, have they? See, she isn't really trying to discuss anything. She's trying to roast them and smear them, even though she's the one that instigated the conversation. Even more so, if his opinion doesn't matter since he's British, why even interview him in the first place? Simple, because she's driven by agenda and she's searching for sensational clips of liberals looking dumb. I think to decriminalize being gay all over the world and had a good conversation with a lot of people. In his acceptance speech, he's the only president ever to mention LGBTQ people. I didn't know that. I feel like it's about time. I mean, someone needs to do it, so. And Trump is the guy that did it. I, I do see Trump. He is a very strong candidate, and, like, I would not be surprised if he, if he won. I wouldn't be surprised. You didn't come across that video, though, did you, Mike? What you don't see is the first th three hours of her being there berating people who are celebrating their, their livelihood and their, and their gay pride. You're right, Mike. You don't see it because that never happened. I also wasn't even there for three hours. Why don't you show everyone what really happened if you say you watched it? Why don't you show how I was treated so poorly that people stepped in to defend me against their own friends who were being violent? I shouted the second amendment because that's the beliefs I have, but I draw the line at assaulting you. I'm not going to have you be assaulted while I'm just standing here. Go no, away. Don't. Someone watch it here. You're no. Go away. Go away. Oh, right. Because that would go against your narrative about me being the worst person in the world. She because they can only they don't even need to show the clips because everyone <clears throat> hear me out i don't even need to show i showed most of the clips in this video from what you're watching and i can tell you i don't even need to show you the rest of the clips basically because caitlin bennett likes to hide she'll have a video that seems nice but then as you watch it you go oh she's one of those youtubers where she'll start off nice and then immediately show her true colors and it's terrible like i'm showing you these clips and I'm showing you those clips because Caitlyn Bennett is just fucking human garbage. Like, the fact that I can find all these clips at a readily notable time is really fucking sad. And it's sad when anyone, even people like Hunter Avalon, has to step in and just go, no, she's fucking terrible. It shows 
how bad you can a person can be, especially when they try to act nice. Because in that video, I, I'll tell you right now, it gets worse. Because yes, some people did shove her, and they were like, okay, yeah, she's a fucking terrible person, but we shouldn't go around doing violence. Because if you actually watch the whole clip, she fucking threatens to shoot some people. She threatens people like, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I shove somebody, I, uh, yeah, fine. They sh I I'm going to probably get shoved back. But I think the fact that people were just like, okay, guys, that guy shoved her. We, sh we shouldn't be, we just ignore her because she's out here causing trouble. And they, they reined the people in because they were getting very aggressive because Caitlyn Bennett is going out and causing trouble. Is, is, is that enough? Is, I'm, I'm almost done with this video. The video is longer than it has to be, and that's because Caden likes to lie and hide the fact that she's in the wrong. Remold her narrative and start to say things and act in a civil f way. And she's not doing She's antagonizing gay and lesbian. Well, that's ironic considering Logan had to apologize to the LGBT community for joking that he was going to go gay for a month. At least I'm strong enough in my convictions and my actions to never apologize to the outrage mob. No one takes this girl serious. I don't know how she goes out in public safely. I, I have no idea. Probably because she always has a camera on her. She's probably carrying. You're right, Logan. I don't know how either considering people like you put my safety at risk because you feel the need to lie about me. Which results in incidents <clears throat> Logan Paul doesn't have all the right information he's putting out. He's not putting out the right amount of information. But all the information he's talking about, even though he's not using the right amount of information to show that you're full of shit, I can show all the clips and it shows you're full of shit. So in that case, okay, Logan Paul is just bad at showing evidence. That's fine. But I'm pretty sure the fact that I can pull up clips where you're fucking in the wrong really shows how fucking disgusting you are as an individual ignoring that why is it you're so mad at logan paul because he said you were wrong yeah i don't i don't always show clips all the time like that help my argument but at least people know i'm not the type of person to lie or cut out clips because caitlin cuts out clips where she's in the wrong a few times hell if i pull up more videos it even helps my argument but I think I showed enough to show Caitlyn is full of shit. I, I showed like three videos. But four maybe actually. But Caitlyn try, tries to ignore the fact that, hey, there are clips where she is a bad person. By saying, well, he's not showing the right ones. Basically, I'll sum it up like this. Caitlyn is trying to deflect any possible look in her channel. She's saying, look at my channel. But probably those videos are probably deleted by now. Or the fact that those videos are probably not deleted and she's probably edited around the video. Who knows what she's fucking doing? Because, yes, you can do... Okay, let me show you this really quick. Uh, I'm not going to spoil any of my videos. I mean, clearly. But I'll, I'll show you this really quick. <clears throat> Caitlyn Bennett can edit her videos anytime. Because, yes, on YouTube, you have the literal feature... To edit videos that are public or not public. So even if even if you were to watch the video of where Logan Paul makes a few mistakes, Caitlyn Bennett probably edited around those videos to make herself look good. It's not that hard. Uh, and I like the fact that she tries to ignore this fact. Like straight up, we're on my phone right now. And I'm showing you this. Because if you can do it from your phone, you can probably do it from your computer too. That Caitlyn Bennett's out here trying to hide the fact that, hear me out. The fact that she can edit her videos anytime without ever making them not public. I, I want you to think about that. She just would cr probably edit out some how long the videos are. Maybe make the video longer and show in clips where she's good. It's not hard to edit videos. To do a whole bunch of shit. Because look at the shit she does. She, literally, she, she has a bad habit of, I'm going to crop out this thing or image. Oh my god, it's so shocking. No, because you're in the wrong. I think the fact that you're trying to ignore the actual... I know more about YouTube than you because I don't even do this channel to be a dick. I do it because I like to make content. I ain't perfect by any means at making my content. But I've never seen somebody so blatantly full of shit on their own fucking videos and content. Like, look at this. I can edit this video right now and add some music or whatever. But I want you to think about that for a minute. Why would I have to unless I made some very bad mistake in my video that I wanted to fix? Like, oh, maybe it was a music video and I slapped some music on there. Fine, because you can do that. And I like how Caitlyn ignores these facts to say Logan Paul is bad because he said she was in the wrong. Yes, they weren't perfect, but they do point out that she actually does do these terrible things. 
And it's pretty fucking disgusting that Caitlyn tries to ignore the fact that she's so full of shit. We're almost done with this video, by the way. Like this, that you complain about and accuse me of provoking. The reason she does it is for this. It's for this discourse to happen on this fucking show. And for her to get another one million fucking views and for people to talk about it. Now, look at the projecting that's going on here. He says my goal in all of this is to get people mad so I can go viral. When they are the ones lying about me to try to get views because they know it's popular to hate me. And here's Mike projecting once again. She's going to clip this part of the show. She's going to put it on her Twitter and say, the impulsive boys think my conservative speeches offends them. So they, de hold on, so they deleted our episode like this is liberal brainwashing okay that's exactly what i know exactly how this girl works how every piece she moves on the puzzle or on the chessboard works actually mike i know exactly how leftists like you work I see the statistics of women walking in the bathroom and just seeing a dick hanging out so are you a progressive i'm a big conservative should we put urinals in women's restrooms here on campus to make women with penises feel more comfortable yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's important to make everyone feel included. Um, I thought you said you were a huge conservative. I am. It's important to make opportunity to debate me, and your own followers said your ideas were awful, and that you did a terrible job making your arguments. You are ashamed that you wanted to bring me out there to make me look bad, but only discredited yourself. That's why you have to lie about me, and delete the podcast, and selectively edit clips of me. You don't want people to know who I am or what I actually stand for. You want people to believe certain things about me, which is why you won't actually show what happened at Pride, and why you won't show your audience how I get treated for simply just existing. Dude, stop! Stop it, you Stop! Hey, 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 relax. I didn't appreciate it. Excuse you! Because you're walking right to me. You walked up to us! Back! To go to their House of Representatives office and demand. Fun fact, Caitlin Bennett actually edits out some of those clips because I did watch those videos. And I've shown you clips of Caitlin Bennett being full of shit. And I love how she edits out fucking clips and complains about Logan Paul doing this. Like, what the f You can't complain about something if you're going to do the same exact thing and nobody's going to, and, and you know people aren't going to fucking notice that you're fucking editing it out or just leaving out bits of clips because you know it'll make you look bad. But you're complaining about it when someone else does it to you. But that person actually has actual evidence. He's just being really dumb and not actually putting the effort to actually show that you're full of shit. Whereas I'm pulling up clips where actual people are refuting you and making you look fucking dumb. You fucking donut. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. This is the tolerant left right here. Video, Jamie. Yep. Wait, why can't I touch it? Because it's not your property. Hey, what? Wait, why? Because you're yeah. So this guy just told the golf cart to roll to run me over. We're over. Video cameras. Thank you, cameras. Thank you, people. Hey, back the f I get treated the way I do and constantly record interactions such as these because people like you mislead your audience about me, which causes them to get violent when they see me. You can't blame me for how low IQ brainwashed teenagers react to my presence. You should blame yourself, which is ironic. Like these two students do. It's absolutely hilarious. We're going to jump right into the video now. Just like we, we benefit from white privilege in a way that like it's not it, it's not obvious, but it's in a more subtle way. Um, I mean, look around. Do you see any indigenous people? Yeah, I talked to a lot today, actually. Really? Um, what tribes were they from? I didn't ask because that's not important to me. But it you know, is. Do you know the history? It's not important you know to history. me. Who wants to guess that she didn't talk to one ind indigenous person that day? Like, she was just like, oh, yeah, I talked to a bunch. And I love how the girl goes, oh, yeah, like, she kind of pulled a Caitlyn on Caitlyn, you know what I mean? Because Caitlyn's always like, oh, yeah, well, uh, you know, she was like, oh, yeah, well, like, what tribes were they from? And she was like, oh, I don't know, that's not important to me. But it should be important to you. This was built, at, most of it was built by slave labor. Why are you here? Many buildings have the names of slaveholding families. Why do you go in them? Well, because Rutgers has a legacy also on top of this with really radical politics. Paul Robeson went here, the famous black communist. Oh, we, oh, communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster has No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I love this guy so much. His name's James, I think. James, I love you. Like, you're my hero. Can the internet find me these two people? Because I want to follow them on Instagram or something. Like, <laughs> I'm so dead. Are you triggered? He's just having, like, a riot with this shit. I love it. And I also believe that naturally we are innately collective. And I believe that we all exist in a mosaic of humanity. And I think the fact that the capitalist system and neoliberalism has completely destroyed that um, produces ideologies like the far right. That's, in some ways, eco-fascism is a direct result of that. My God, you were throwing out all these really crazy... 
crazy weird terms. Eco-fascism. No, they are. Like, no, honestly, like, if you talk to a normal person, eco-fascism, that's, that's really stupid. The El shooter self-identified as an eco-fascist. He wrote a manifesto about the climate crisis. He said he accepted the science and then scapegoated black and brown people mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a scapegoat for the climate crisis. This is real threats that we're dealing with. Okay. And I think to say that they're not real problems really minimize. I never said that. I said it's silly. The fact that she's saying that the words he's using are stupid... No, you're just stupid. <laughs> this is ignorance versus intelligence. Caitlin, I would love to give you a little lesson here because, you know, all of your little stands came into my comments the other day and told me how fucking stupid I was and how unintelligent I was and how I was such a bubble brain and, and I only got by in life because of my looks. I just would like to give you a little lesson here because these terms actually aren't stupid and they're not that hard to figure out. So I'm really surprised that she doesn't really know what, like, fascism is because I feel like that's a term that should be in her repertoire. Fascism is basically like a political philosophy that's authoritarian and promotes nationalism at all costs. It holds in very high regard, like, the nation and often race over the individual. So basically fascism stands for an autocratic leader. So by autocratic, we mean like a leader that has unlimited ruling or unlimited power over its subjects. So think dictatorship. And this sort of um, unlimited ruling and power and dictatorship is often accompanied by severe economic and social regimentation and also accompanied by forcible suppression of the opposition. So if you're opposed to this way of life, you're opposed to this dictatorship, you will be forcibly suppressed. So people are forced basically to follow along onto this. So so an example of this is think Nazi Germany, think Hitler. Honestly, I would say that Caitlin Bennett, I would consider her a fascist. So now moving on to what he said about eco-fascism, this is a theoretical political model in which that authoritarian government we just spoke about requires its individuals to kind of let go of their own beliefs and ideology and give up their own interests for the organic whole of nature. So this eco-fascism was basically used to undermine the environmental movement. And now if we want to go and explain what neoliberalism is, which is what I learned in like a first year course at university, Neoliberalism is basically the idea that society should be shaped by the free market and that the economy should be deregula deregula should be de deregulated. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of stupid too, guys. Um, that the economy should be deregulated and privatized. So there you go, Caitlin. It's not that hard. There was a little lesson on uh, political theory and uh, political philosophy for you. Since you want to come out here and act like you're so educated and you're so much smarter than everyone else, clearly you didn't know what those words meant, but this Logan says I get exactly what I deserve when I go out and film. Mad viral on Twitter and has for the past, I think like week or two weeks, just, just for like hassling people and people um, handling her appropriately the way that she probably like deserves to be handled. Now this is coming from the same guy who got spit on a few weeks ago and called it disrespectful. If I deserve it, do you, Logan? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> no spitting isn't physical, but in, that's disrespectful. It's, it's disrespectful. Also, there, there, there's uh, potential, I think it's assault charges. Spitting on someone is probably the highest level of disrespect. Did you just spit on me? Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Handling her appropriately the way that she probably deserves to be handled. Spitting on someone is probably the highest level of disrespect. The way that she probably... <clears throat> I love how she doesn't show any clips of her getting spit on, but they spit on her microphone to be disrespectful. Yes, but they didn't spit on her because even people who fucking hate you would rather spit on your phone or your anything before they spit on you. They really like people really don't like her because all she does is constantly harass people to the point where even other people who side with her fucking hate her. So, you know, that's how far people want to go. They want to spit on her, but they haven't. And that's because people aren't scum. They'll spit on your microphone because, yeah, they keep putting that in people's faces. And, you, and they're telling you, no, I don't want to speak. And you harass them continuously. Of course, you're going to get sick of your shit. What a big 180 from a year ago when Logan and Mike looked into their camera and told people to stop harassing both my fiance and myself. Arrest, do you receive hate for being with her? Oh, yes. Oh, not. yes. People have told him that they will find me, rape me, and make him watch. That's, that's not, that's that's not, yeah, not okay. uh, Are you scared, Caitlin? I. When you go outside. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I. it's daunting. It's very telling that the same guys that expressed concern for my safety a year ago and no one get contacted by the FBI over credible threats against my life now say that I get what I deserve. Uh, the FBI called me when I was heading to the Airbnb yesterday. Uh, the FBI called Does me. Happen a lot. It's happened once Why? before because they had a credible threat against me. If you're out there and you're gonna give Caitlyn like, a public setting and like call her names or threaten her, don't the way that she probably like deserves to be handled. This is why they pulled the podcast so they could control the narrative about me and destroy any evidence they have of me behaving the exact opposite of what they want people to think of me. Unfortunately for them, you can still go watch the podcast in its entirety at the link here.
And since it's pulled from their channel, you'll be able to both see the truth and not have to worry about giving them any clicks. I'm convinced they also deleted the podcast to try to impress Russell Brand, who is a well-known communist. But sadly for them, Russell Brand had no clue who I was. You have any thoughts on, do you know the girl, Caitlin Bennett? Everything I know about Caitlin Bennett, I learned just then. Imagine bringing on an internationally known entertainer and making your first question to him about Caitlin Bennett. I live so rent-free in Mike's head that out of all the things to ask Russell Brand, this is the most important question for him to ask. For being so ashamed of me, they sure love to randomly bring me up, even in other podcast episodes. Is there anybody you'd like to see age faster and just move more I would, I would love talking. in the next year for a Caitlyn Bennett gun girl to look like a full-on grandmother and just be interviewing people at Pepper Alley's like, <laughs> what do you think about abortion? <laughs> just like, yo, Caitlyn, shut the f*** up, give it up. If you're so ashamed of me, why did you need to clip up this part of your podcast and upload it as its own video, titling it, Logan Paul Speaks on Caitlyn Bennett Going Viral Again? Why did you wait a whole year after you interviewed me and nine months after I went to Pride to feel ashamed of me? Why did you conveniently wait until I went viral again to feel ashamed of me? I'm so ashamed of the fact that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett, so I'm going place simple because she's driven by agenda and she's searching for sensational clips of liberals looking dumb i think this is demonstrated really well in one of her videos where she approaches some random people leaving a democratic debate the man made a hyperbolic statement about trump being a fascist when caitlin asked for the definition of fascism the guy gave her a definition which was pretty accurate actually but caitlin doubled down on asking for the textbook definition and this is the a despotic methodology that a fascist employ that is a long definition if i opened up the textbook that's what it would say fascism is what textbook? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. What is the what is the textbook definition of fascism? I don't know. Which textbook are you referring to? So fascism so to you, so back into history. Despotic methodology without respect for the rule of law. That's the textbook definition of fascism. Well, what textbook? Well, Why do you throw this textbook in here? Which textbook? That's my so definition. if I opened up a dictionary in history classes, so are they I going to call him a fascist? You already said it. I did, and I gave you the definition. And if you so if I Googled it, if I Googled it, that's what would come up all that, that long? Well, you Google it and go ahead and do your research. That's what I'm telling you. You're asking me. She's doing this because even though I don't agree with these other people, they're arguing their side pretty decently. But again, she isn't looking for a discussion. Plus, I really hope she's smart enough to know that an entire political ideology cannot be succinctly summed up in a two-sentence dictionary definition. She's trying to trap these people for a sensational soundbite. If she can repeatedly ask for the textbook definition, even though it's pretty irrelevant to the overall discussion, she'll do it. If your arguments are so good and liberals are so dumb, you should be able to have a good faith discussion without doubling down on arbitrarily asking for the textbook definition, despite the fact that this guy answered your question pretty well and in good faith. Even worse, when her opponent makes a decent point that she can't refute, she just jaggedly changes the subject. Every other developed country in the whole world has a single-payer system that serves their people better. Sure. Canada has a good health care system. France and Finland have the best, and we don't talk about those. So I want to get back. You said Donald Trump is a fascist. What is the definition of fascism? See what I'm talking about? She just changes the subject back to to a point in which she believes she can trap this person. Do you want to talk? Hello! Would you like to have tampons in the men's restroom? Uh, I don't see an issue with it. It's Me neither! Necessary. Yeah, it's necessary, yes! It's such a weird way to approach people. Like, I'm just finding this whole approach really odd. Like, just running up to someone on campus going, hey, what do you think of period pads being in the men's bathrooms? It's just a very strange thing to do. Should we put urinals in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who have penises? No, they stand up when they pee. I mean, if there's the money in the budget for it, sure. Okay, okay. Just the quiet, oh, okay, okay, in the background. Like, oh no, I wasn't expecting to say this. How do I respond? That's the best part. Like, just the little, like, off-mic response is like, oh. I feel like in a lot of ways she genuinely wasn't expecting the responses she's gotten so far. Because her reaction to it is more like, oh, right. Well, what do I do now? What's a period? Uh, biological function. Of? What do you, I'm confused. What do you mean? Who has periods? People with the people means to do that. People. Yes, people. If you were to walk into the women's restroom and you saw a woman with a penis there using a urinal, would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. It's none of your business that a man is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. Boom. Like, poor. That, that, that was like a mic drop response. Just like... Me. I'm so ashamed of the fact that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett. So I'm going to remind everyone that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett and make a whole new video about Caitlyn Bennett. And I don't want her to get another million views, which is why I'm reminding my 20 million subscribers of who Caitlyn Bennett is. Not only did your subscribers think I wrecked you guys on guns, but they also think you're idiots for deleting the podcast. Feel shame over having her as a guest. Goes to delete the episode, then makes a clip from the podcast talking about her, giving her attention, and tagging her with hashtags. Makes zero sense. Oh look, it's the beta boys who got owned by Caitlyn Bennett on gun rights. So let me get this right. You delete her video that you already got your 
your views from. Then load another video about her to show what? All about that money, boy. You sure showed her, Logan. Caitlin rocked. She has more guts in her little finger than all three soy boys put together. Thank you, Caitlin, for exposing these people. They even admit you are not safe. Amazing. If Logan and Mike are that obsessed with me, I challenge them to bring me back on their show for another debate. I love how Caitlyn ignores the fact that she's looking at her own, you know, other people's videos and all this other shit. Okay. Because I actually looked through and let's say this. If this was on Logan Paul's channel, you would see heart icons. She would have scrolled through more of the comment section and all this stuff. You know, I'm looking at one of my videos where, yes, Isla Rose. Looked at one of my videos. Thank you for noticing me, by the way. Thank you. I actually didn't get to bring this up in one of my videos. Yes, people with more subscribers than me notice me, and that's really sweet. But other than that, I like how Caitlyn Bennett is continuing to edit out or even hide things. I like how she's hiding the fact that, hey, that only her followers are saying anything, but and she doesn't even show the entire comment section. And I don't even think the link's going to have all the comments. And if it does, it's from Caitlyn's followers. I wish I could have seen the video because I would have taken the time to read all those comments and f just prove she's full of shit. But I don't think I'm going to be able to find all those comments. And if I do, I will have no trouble reading them. And if anyone can find me a link to all the comments, I'll read all of the comments for that video. I have no problem proving someone like Caitlyn Bennett wrong. I challenge you, Mike and Logan, to have some integrity and show everyone what actually happened at Pride, instead of clipping up two minutes out of my three videos there. And I challenge you to tell me to my face why you think I get the treatment I deserve. You have my number, Logan. I'll be waiting for your phone call to set it up. I have absolutely no shame in any of my beliefs or any of my videos, but you have to live with the shame of sleeping with porn stars, the shame of living a fake life for popularity, and the shame of knowing you screwed up by filming a dead body. I think that's a lot worse than a 24-year-old girl supporting your right to self-defense. But then again, I don't have holes in my brain. This is my brain, right? Oh, I got holes in your brain. I got holes in my brain. Right. Living the rest of your life with this brain is not going to be a lot of fun for you or for the people who love you. Just like in the boxing ring, Logan, you're a f loser. From the United Kingdom, before we close this video off, I like how she's pointing out Logan Paul slept with porn stars. So, bitch, if you slept with a porn star, never will be on your ass, just like you are on his ass. Like, what, what does a porn star got to do with anything? I like how she's trying to teeter away from the fact that there are clips right there, and she knows people will watch them and show where she's in them wrong. And, and that's like fine. Logan Paul ain't that smart. He actually really does have holes in his brain. Yeah, he lost the boxing match against KSI, but so many people. Wanted to see him win because he fucked up, but he's trying to better himself, unlike you. And that's something, I, I, I hate the fact that I have to say this. But when somebody admits they're a piece of shit, and they've done wrong to do something, like, actually from their body, and all this shit, and they know they're wrong, and they're trying to better themselves. I like how the fact that you're out there saying they're a terrible person still for trying to better themselves, to not be as bad as they were. Because one of the most important things in life is to be better than you were yesterday. And I love how the fact that you can't even take that simple message. And, and literally, that's the whole video. She's like, oh my god, Logan Paul D has done stuff with porn stars. Motherfucker, everyone who's been in porn or wants to fuck people has probably fucked a porn star. Somebody's probably done it. Like, bitch, please. I don't give a shit with half the shit you say. Ignore that shit. Then we can get to the shit like this, where she's like, oh man, he actually really does have holes in his brain. He really has holes in his brain. And Logan Paul can't do anything but laugh at it. Like, he really is. He, re he really is a person who has holes in his brain. That's not even a joke. But ignoring that, yeah, people actually want to see Logan Paul win against KSI because as bad as he is, even the people who hated him wanted him to win. And that's because he's showing he's trying to be better than he was before. And I think the fact that you're trying to bring this up, is something that's not even a year old, because by the, she's saying nine, Caitlin Bennett says nine months ago, and that was before 2020. That was back in 2019. Logan Paul's incident happened in 2017, at the beginning of the year. We're talking about 2018 to 2019. That's been two years, and you're bringing that up now. And everyone's already covered it. I've covered it. I don't even know if it's still up on my channel, because YouTube has a habit of deleting the videos around that time. And I can tell you, yeah, Logan Paul wasn't perfect, but he's trying to better himself. And I think the fact that people can say, I don't hate Logan Paul as much as I did, but at least he's not as bad as he was back then. Where everyone now is seeing you're bad in the now. It's not even been a whole year yet. It's only be it's only been one year because it changed from 2019 to 2020. 
and those were those there's a month gap it hasn't even been a full year and you do that shit and that's only because pride month has to come again and when it does people don't want you there because you harass and continually to harass people and it's disgusting that's my only take this is a serious video like Caleb Bennett is so fucking scummy